Alright, so this is the review of my uh, computer build. As you can see, I have two Hans G 28 inch monitors. I've got a wireless keyboard, wireless mouse. I have a Logitech um, stereo system. And then uh, this beast. This is my Lan Lee case. This is the front of it before I open it up. As you can see, we have uh, three hard drive cages, which each has five hard drives. Up the top, I got uh, another three hard drives. Up here, so I have the ability to have um, 16 hard drives in arrayed uh, six configuration. And then I mirror my uh, main hard drive, this is drive zero and one, which are two one terabyte hard drives, and then the fan monitoring system, the DVD drive. The top of this case is pretty nice. It's got a nice little uh, USB ports, audio jacks, firewire cable. Um, and I uh, put some felt tabs in the bottom of this case so it's pretty easy to slide in and out. And now what we're going to do is just remove the side case and I'll let you guys take a look at the insides of this little baby. And then maybe read off some of the specs. Alright, once again, what we have here is this is the Landley PC A77 black case. And inside of there, I put in the Gigabyte GA EP45 UD3P motherboard. Which is uh, Ultra Durable 3. I have the Zalman CNP S9500 uh, cooling fan. I have uh, 8 gigabytes of um, uh, memory in there. That's the OCC Ripper. Reaper. Uh, this obviously has the GTX uh, 280. The gem of this particular unit is my uh, three-wear. Uh, I have the uh, 9650SE16ML, so that means I can run uh, 16 hard drives. Um, which are five here, five here, and then I have five more over there. And uh, one more in the top uh, case up here. This. Uh, this uh, computer actually worked really well for doing the server installation. And what I do is I run 15 750 gigabyte hard drives. I have them in RAID 6 configuration. It gives me a little over 10 terabytes of storage. And I know that's a lot, but uh, I have a lot of pictures, movies, and files, and music. And I do share it on a wireless network. I do have a battery backup unit on the um, three-wear card. It costs a little bit of money, but it sure does save you a little bit because you can do... Uh, um, basically a delayed write. I do have a UPS and that is a thousand watt power supply to power up the whole thing. And it does get a little bit of warm because everything comes in through the front. Now one thing that I do like uh, to do is to test all my systems once I've installed them. So if we go ahead and just unlock this, this particular case works pretty well of pulling out the hard drives and reinserting them in case I have to do anything. I Don't hot swap the uh, motherboard RAID because uh, I don't trust it. And uh, I have tested it, it does work. And these are a little flimsy sometimes, so let's go ahead and lock it again. This is removing the hard drive. And you can see how easy and nice that works. Um, there is a bit of airflow that does go by the hard drives, and using the, um, the Everest, I can actually monitor the temperature on my uh, computer. If, each hard drive in the assembly, they all um, under normal load run about um, 30 degrees C or so. A couple of people ask me uh, about this particular installation and what I'm really doing is um, I use Windows 64-bit. Um, I use uh, Vista. It hasn't had any problems yet with it. I was thinking of upgrading to Windows 7 but I run several of the computers in the house and this is the file server so also as a media server I can send this upstairs to my TV and watch whatever movie really that I want or listen to the music wherever I want. 
definitely getting off of the uh, motherboard um, RAID assembly is a huge benefit. Uh, I did lose a RAID 5 assembly on a former machine that I made because the motherboard, um, one of the traces went bad and you cannot reconstitute those hard drives on another motherboard. I did find that out and I lost all my data. So now here I can swap out the card, I can do uh, swap out the computer, I've tried it, I've plugged this card in a different computer and the RAID system recognizes everything. I failed two hard drives with about uh, five terabytes worth of data. It took a day to recreate it by putting one hard drive back in and the other hard drive. Works fine. I have a RAID 6. I do not have a hot standby swap spare standby. With RAID 6 you have two redundant hard drives. So I do have uh, two hard drives sitting in the closet ready to be plugged into this machine when it does fail. And uh, the card does a pretty good job of emailing me when I'm at work or whatnot. But let's power up this bad boy and you can see it power up. Alright, when we power this sucker up, we typically get lights come on. Pretty little Christmas tree. That's my primary monitor. So you can see the 8 gigabytes of RAM. It's now recognizing uh, some of the hard drives, the RAID controller, my 16 physical hard drives. Uh, 9.54 terabytes because it is in RAID 6. Now the camera's got it focused in. And you can see my primary boot drive is the drive zero I have labeled here. Uh, when it does write stuff because it's directly mirrored across the two hard drives it's kind of nice so now it's um, basically any redundant information gets written to both hard drives at the same time. If I do fail one, um, not a big deal. Windows does tell me about it. These are RAID 0 off the motherboard, or RAID 1, typical mirror. So here you can see the uh, uptime just booted up the computer. I'm running a little bit overclocked at 3200 megahertz, uh, French size bus 400 megahertz, CPU clock, um, as you can read it. Uh, core temperatures, and I've never really gotten them over 660 uh, using the uh, various different. Um, tests I've done with the overclocking. Uh, graphics processor unit runs quite a bit hotter, especially when I'm playing games. There's my two hard drives, um, the main ones. And then here are the 30 some, uh, the 16 hard drives that I have in RAID 6. And uh, CPU wattages. Now, one utility I find uh, quite darn useful um, when you're running with the uh, motherboard so you can open up a um, browser window and you can actually uh, log straight on to the uh... Sorry about that. This is the uh, 3M um, uh, 3DM2 which is um, basically a relatively easy interface. You click on the ID unit, the server 2000 is uh, the name and then uh, you can take a look at all the disk statuses and this is a pretty good management, self-explanatory management tool. Um, monitoring, battery backup, right now my battery backup uh, test is overdue. Alright, here are the um, crystal disk mark numbers. The ones on the left are basically from the RAID card. And you can see that in the uh, small file size it really chunks through that data. Now, um, on, the re on the right side, it's not much more efficient than a single hard drive because of the fact that uh, it's got to write to all 15, 16 hard drives at once. And then at the bottom, you can see for the very large file size, it's still far out raised. Uh, you know, it's worlds above having a single hard drive, but you know, this, is, this is the kind of performance you just can't even get out of an SSD. Um, anyways, hopefully you found this pretty informative. If anybody has any questions, please post them and I'll try to answer them about this particular server build.